Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here again as usual. Thank you for dropping by for yet another chess video. Always excited to see you guys and always excited to show you guys something new. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 3.75 Euro series chess pieces from House of Staunton in their subcategory of wood tech. Now about over a year ago, I reviewed a wood tech chess set, the high polymer resin, where I tried to describe how it's made, um, hypothesizing a lot and trying to kind of give you guys the best idea of how it compares to a plastic chess set. So if you want to check that video out, be sure to head that way, where I talked about the high polymer resin chess set. On the House of Staunton website, they have currently three different wood tech chess pieces. One of which, the least expensive, is the Euro series chess pieces, which we'll be looking at today. They also have the chess set known as the Candidates. Now, the Candidates, based on what I've seen, and I, it wasn't House of Staunton from which I bought my previous wood tech chess set, but based on all the, the configurations of the chess pieces, I felt like that was exactly the same chess set that I've shown you guys previously. So be sure to check that chess set out too. And lastly, they have a new one, the Fisher series chess set from the Wood Tech. Now, we're gonna be taking a look today and I'm gonna to try to, as best as I can, give you guys my helpful sort of interpretation of what this chess set feels like in comparison to wooden chess set and also what it feels like in comparison to plastic chess set. How is it different? Um, and kind of give you guys my impression. Um, now, I'm gonna go, go ahead and start off by saying that currently on the House of Staunton, the Euro series chess pieces are sold for about $59.95. That price, price may vary over time, depending or not if they give any, any type of discount. So probably anticipate paying with shipping maybe close to about $70, depending on where you guys are. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna zoom in the camera a little bit closer and, and show you guys what this chess set's all about and kind of give you guys my uh, impression of it. Okay, so packaged in this cardboard box, the chess set came uh, in two separate Ziploc compartments that separated the darks from the lights. But you see that the box is relatively well made um, there wasn't any additional cushioning or anything in the box because as you can see based on the amount of space there is in the box they could barely fit the pieces themselves but um, I feel like overall there was plenty of space in the boxes well the box is regular shipping box this box came in a bigger box that box had a bunch of paper around it so and I feel like uh, as you guys will see shortly these pieces are relatively well made and uh, received a lot of good reviews on online. Let's go ahead and start off by showing you guys this is a 3.75 inch king chess set here with um, a designation of wood tech. Now wood tech as I've alluded to previously would be some kind of a combination of a combination of, of plastic or resin that is put together maybe in a slightly different way than your regular uh, chess set would be but it, it definitely looks different than a regular plastic chess set as you can see this wood tech looks very unique and it also looks very kind of a uh, very wood like because of all the artificial grain that you guys can see over here hopefully at the distance where you guys are at you can kind of gain an appreciation of how the grain has been made into this chess set to make it look very, very much so wood-like. Almost a little too much grain for a particular, like you don't usually see wood that, mm, where the grain is that distinctive, but um, it's still weight made really, really well. Um, overall, one of the things that I want to point out immediately is that compared to other plastic chess sets, the way that this one's made is there's really no or very very minimal minimal indication that there's any seams anywhere if you look really super super close you might be able to find the seam but um, it's it's just made kind of with regards to the seam it's made really well um, so the the pieces like a lot of the plastic chess sets that i've reviewed before the seam is so pronounced that i mean it's just Sometimes it's annoying and to some people it is because it kind of shows that chess sets been kind of stamped together without really any polishing or anything. But in this case, 
um, attention has been taken uh, to really make sure that you get a really nice sort of a quality plastic chess set and uh, that you'd be happy with okay now on the website it does say that these this chess set is uh, the, the the entire weight of the chess pieces is like 32 ounces which makes this sort of a on the light side um, in my opinion feeling wise it's actually kind of a really light chess set it, it is weighted on the bottom but it's weighted and, and as it goes for a lot of plastic chess sets, whenever there's a piece of weight that's placed on the bottom, but the piece itself is relatively light, it kind of creates a situation where the, the center of gravity or the center of balance of the piece is actually pushed way, way downwards. And I've, I've talked about that uh, thing before, about that factor. Whenever you pick up a wooden chess piece and the distribution of weight is a little bit more higher up because the entire piece is solid wood, when you pick it up and you move it to the side, like when you're kind of uh, wanting to sort of pick up a piece and play with it the way you would normally play, because the weight distribution is um, more towards the center on wooden chess sets, you, you don't get as much kind of a pull downwards, okay? So when you're... Picking a piece up like this, sorry you guys, I'm not finding the words today, it's just one of those days, but I was excited to show you guys this chess set. Um, when you pick a piece up, there's always going to be some kind of a pull downward because there's a bigger mass down here and a lot of times when there's a an extra bit of a weight in there, that push downward can become a little bit more pronounced. So some people are used to playing with plastic chess sets and, and that is one of the things about the plastic chess sets that I've noticed compared to wooden chess sets, among other things of course. But uh, when you pick a piece up and you kind of push it at an angle like this, you can feel it pushing back down. You can really feel it pushing back down. And in fact, as you guys can see when I let go, it kind of has that pendulum effect. That means that the, 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 the upper part of the chess set's really light and the down force kind of makes it to where the distribution of weight is way, way down at the bottom. And, uh, well, I don't know. This is a thing of personal opinion. I like to have a little bit more weight distribution towards the center. But in this case, it's kind of downward. It's really, I'm like I said, I'm trying to be like really picky, but I'm also trying to give you guys the best interpretation as far as what I feel like this chess set is. Um, on the bottom here, it's got a really, really nice felt bottom that's um uh, it's it's sort of made like the um like the chess pieces well it's got felt and i could probably say that this felt is as minimal felt almost like the felt that i've seen where it's like paper felt but at the same time it's not paper felt it's, it's made out of really nice soft material it's it's well placed on the bottom of the chess piece and when you're actually playing with this chess set you still get a really nice distribution of muffled effect. It's not as muffled as, as some of the other felts that we've seen, like the thicker felts. But I feel like for this particular chess set, they have made enough felt to where when you're going to be playing this chess set, you're really not going to be having too many issues with the felt. Plus, um, a, a lot of people who are going to buy these chess pieces are probably going to, going to end up playing in tournaments somewhere on like roll-up boards. So, But even if you're playing on a wooden board, it's it's still enough felt in my opinion because the pieces aren't terribly heavy. In my opinion, it's still felt enough felt to to have a good comfortable playing experience with regards to the bottom of the chess piece. Um, as far as the shape of it, as you can see, they've kind of have created these sort of sharp lines here on the bottom. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the this this right here. In comparison is the the king to the uh, the DGT e-board that uh, you've seen um, I reviewed it probably a month ago or something like that it's a, also a plastic chess set but the, the the main difference between this plastic chess set and this one well for one it ha this one has a little bit more uh, going on inside of it because it's got the sensor and everything so but still the weight distribution of this particular chess set is uh, it's a little bit higher up than this one. This one feels kind of more hollow inside. This one feels like it's plastic, but but you, you could get a feeling that there's a thicker amount of plastic, more plastic throughout the piece. Therefore, even though plastic doesn't weigh as much as wood, it still creates a, a little bit better weight distribution of this particular chess set. 
But as far as the, the looks of it, as you can tell, over here you have kind of a similar ring on the bottom that's kind of sharp and pronounced. And all, in fact, it's pronounced in all the chess pieces. Uh, same here on the DGT set. Then you have a couple of lines here, similar to some of these, but not all of them. And then over here on top, you have this sharp line. On the DGT chess piece, the sharp line is not as pronounced. It goes up, but relatively, relatively at a straight angle, more or less. But here, it goes up at a straight angle and then it curves out. So it almost kind of balloons out, almost looks like a, a mushroom cap or something, and then has a sharp line. This would be kind of something that some people might prefer and other people might not prefer. Personally, if you've seen a lot of my videos, I prefer a more rounded top here um, as opposed to a sharp one. But in this case, I feel like it's still a nice chest set. And overall, the, the sharp lines complement well with the sharp lines on the bottom. So I really don't have anything uh, negative to say about this. The top is definitely different. The finial here, as you can see, is kind of this combination of um, it almost looks like some kind of a, I don't know, it, it looks like some kind of a weapon or something on top. It's, it's got this sort of a, just a rounded combination of cylinders that are stacked on top of each other. Um, so interesting to see a different finial. This is going to be a new finial to my collection. I haven't, I don't think I have a finial that's kind of like this, but, um, it's unique. It's definitely kind of a deviation away from regular finials like this. So that, as far as the king goes, about that's all I want to say as far as the bases. The bases are, are about the same. It's a nice, nice overall chess set with wide bases. And as you will see shortly, the bases don't con converge too much on the other pieces. I'm going to throw this away. Um, so this particular chess set, I would probably recommend a board that would be 2.25 inch square and you would have enough space to, to play comfortably. Um, the, the queen here, as you could see, is a relatively conservative with regards to the spikes. There's no sharp areas here, which uh, reduces our risk of, of the spikes breaking uh, over time. And uh, if, if the piece br falls on the floor, it's less likely that these sort of uh, divergences here break. On top, you have just kind of this little ball. We've seen this type of a ball on other chess sets. So um, it's a it's a overall kind of a um, more or less conservative queen, in my opinion. The uh, bishop is going to be a modern look, uh, very much so like the bishop from the Fischer Spassky chess set. The cut here through the top is also very uniform and not really entirely through the top of the piece, but uh, once again, kind of like the Fischer Spassky. I like to have broad cuts in the bishops, but those type of cuts, you don't see it a lot with the, with like the modern chess pieces because they kind of uh, had those in the, like in the beginning, in the 1850s, like the 1852 onward, probably stopping around the beginning of the 20th century where the cuts became a little bit more uh, uniform like you see here. So if you had a cut that was more like elaborate and thicker probably would be representative more of old age bishops but in this case a very uniform bishop with the top that's kind of pushed together a little bit like a little pancake. Um, not much can be said about the the bishop itself it's not really it's not really unique it, it looks a lot like many other bishops. The knight as you can see here uh, the knight's going to be our typical sort of a championship uh, German looking knight with uh, once again very conservative look to it. I've reviewed knights like this um, several times. The Queen's Gambit chess set video that I did uh, quite a while back had a knight very similar to this. Um, some people like this type of knight for its ergonomic aspects. Um, I've mentioned before that it's relatively easy to grab a knight like this that doesn't have a lot of details. Um, so, and it's nice to play because it's, it's, uh, weight distribution is, well, it's, it's still on the bottom, but at least it, when you grab it, it's got a nice feel to it. So this particular knight would be well suited for really any type of games, including blitz, bullet type of games, because grabbing it is really easy. In fact, grabbing every piece here is very easy. Um, they didn't make this wood, wood tech chest set, um, super smooth. So it's got a, like a, a little bit of a texture kind of a 
matte finish, so to speak. And uh, because of that, you have a little bit of a grip, which is uh, nice to see. My previous resin chest set that I did a review on was more like luxury looking chest set. And all the pieces were like really, really shiny. I actually like pieces that are not super shiny because it's easier for the eyes in my opinion. And most of the time when you get an inexpensive wooden chest set, you'll run into pieces that are going to be more matte like this. When you go into like luxury wooden chest sets, sometimes they're a little bit shiny. Uh, but yeah, nice night overall, not super detailed, has the ears over here on the top. Um, the ears kind of point out, but they don't come out from the overall like uh, straightness of the head that makes it kind of uh, nice for you to be able to, to grab the knight at really any height. So easier for you to really not have to mess around and look at how you're going to grab that knight when you're going to make that move so that your moves are going to be more automatic and quicker. I feel like this chest set's made well ergonomically. Um, rook, we've seen a lot of times the, the height of the rook change in a lot of different chest sets. In this case, the rook's kind of close to the height of the knight, maybe just a little bit shorter. And I feel like uh, if we take a look at the entire chest set, we do have that line which sort of descends downward as it should as far as the overall shape, thickness, and the base the base uh, width of the, of the knight looks like it fits in pretty well with the other chest pieces. Um, in fact, the base width of the king is going to be the biggest. As you guys can see, the queen's slightly smaller. And then both the bishop, the knight, and the rook, they have about the same, the same base width, which is also good to see because that creates uniformity. And when we have a lot of deviation from that, then it becomes to where, as we've seen in some wooden chess sets, pieces kind of feel a little bit disconnected if they don't all follow the same pattern. But in this case, it, it, it it's like I said, it looks really uniform. Lastly, we have the the pawn, the pawn's relatively light. Like I said, even though they put weight into these pieces, they do feel relatively light. But because of the broad basis, they're they're well stable and I wouldn't necessarily have an issue with that. So that way, this type of chess set's kind of really nice for anybody that wants to play chess that doesn't necessarily want to have really heavy chess set because with people with maybe some issues with arthritis or maybe younger folks that want just a, a lighter chest set this would be a good you know a good choice for a lot of people because it, it looks like wood but it, it feels nice and light and durable um, the the base width of the pawn is going to be a little smaller as it should be than the rest of the pieces but it's still wide enough for you to be able to play well and i feel like the flatness of the felt on the bottom it, it creates good stability for all the chest pieces so they're not wobbling or anything like that. Uh, lastly, on the pawn, you still have the same type of rings that you see on reflected on the other pieces. And the top ball, as we always mention the top ball, the top ball here is a kind of a, a nice, good size for, for most hands to be able to grab, so I don't really have any issues as uh, with regards to that. Let me go ahead and show you the dark pieces real quick. Compared to the light pieces, which had a lot of grain, as you guys can see, the dark pieces still have grain. They're, the color of the dark pieces is gonna be kind of like dark brown. And the grain comes out and looks a little bit lighter. So it's kind of a dark brown piece with lighter grain sort of in between. And uh, pieces look really nice. Um, I think that uh, the color that the, that was chosen complements well with the light pieces. It's a very neutral brown color with a, like a little bit of gray and a little bit of black, which is kind of really nice to see. Um, because some chess sets, they'll, they'll make the, the brown more reddish, and that sometimes doesn't go well with a lot of different chess boards. And in some cases, they'll make it you know different colors different tints so like i said this this will goes well with with the complements well with the light pieces other than the main color difference there's really not a whole lot of difference between the light and the dark pieces um, their weight is the same and, and their overall uh, look is the same best way i can i'm gonna try to show you how this chest set will look like on a board all set up it does come with the two extra queens as you guys can see here uh, with this uh one of my favorite boards here that you can see. It seems like it goes really well 
Um, the chest pieces are, like I said, occupying a reasonable amount of space on a 2.25 chessboard and uh, well distributed overall shape wise. Well, that's about it, my friends. That's really all I wanted to show you guys today with regards to this chess set. My conclusion is uh, I like it uh, for $59. It's a relatively nice and aesthetic looking chess set. I like the that they really paid attention to the fact that you don't see any seams anywhere. Um, the thing that I probably would say I would have liked to see um, would be the fact that um, it, these chess sets, like I said before, the weight distribution is kind of really way down low. They are a little bit of light for my taste, but um, one of the things is um, different types of plastics have different amounts of plastic inside of them. When you go like this, it almost feels like the amount of plastic that they use in this chess set is like not as thick as maybe what I would like. Ideally, if you're going to sell a plastic chess set, in my opinion, make it solid. Uh, that way, at least you can maximize the amount of weight that the piece can, can be. But, you know, there's, there's no telling how much plastic they used. And in this, in this case, it was like one of my other plastic chess sets that I purchased like over a decade ago. And I don't even have the pieces to it now, but it felt the same way. It was a plastic, high-end plastic. And like when you hold it, it feels fine. But um, if you hit it like this, it almost feels like there's, there's a very thin wall and uh, probably thick enough for you to be okay with them just being thrown any way you want them to be thrown in a bag or whatever, not worrying that they're going to break off. It's not like glass, but still just the overall feeling because I guess I'm used to wooden chess sets where the wooden chess sets are like solid inside. And in this case, in this case, when you go to plastic from wood, you, you really do feel, you know, you do feel the difference as far as the weight distribution and everything. But other than that, it's, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice option for a lot of people out there that are looking for a plastic chess set that's a little bit more unique. And maybe if they are not really or more reluctant to take a wooden chess set to some tournaments, but would, uh, without really any hesitation, take a plastic chess set and they want something in between something like this might be a good option. Also, maybe for people that are more on like conservative side as far as trying to save the forest and everything, you you can go with this option if you still have like the respect for the wooden chess sets, but you don't want to be the person contributing to like the forest being wiped out and everything. So if if maybe you're on that side and you're you just wanna you just wanna get a nice wood like chess set that looks like wood but it's plastic, then in this case this is this is a good option. Um, I'm gonna try to get the Fisher Wood Tech chest set. I'm excited about uh, reviewing that one. That one sells a little bit more. It's about $100 just like the, the other wooden chest set, the Wood Tech chest set that I reviewed. So this one's gonna be the least expensive one and it's still a really nice chest set and I feel like a lot of people out there might be looking for this particular chest set and I'd say that overall, I like it. Now, just because I recently purchased it, I don't know how it's gonna be down the road. It would be nice to see if a chess set like this is used for a while. If you guys have had this particular chess set, let me know how it fares over time and many, many games, whether or not the outside strips down and, and if it does strip down, does it reveal like an unattractive inside or, or does it stay the way that it is? I'd be happy to hear from you guys, okay? So anyways, as always, thank you for joining me. I have a couple of more videos that I tr need to try to make this week. So I'm going to be busy. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss the other videos, okay? See you guys in the next one.